Hi, my name is Jack Skerritt. I'm one of the senior growth managers at Crowdcube. Uh, at Crowdcube, we're essentially Europe's largest crowdfunding, equity crowdfunding platform. Uh, we work with startups, high growth scale ups, in helping them uh, source equity financing through their wider community. Yeah, so I've been invited here today by Cosmonauts to speak on one of the panels to talk about alternative financing. I was lucky enough to be on the panel with um, the likes of Scribestar and Legal Connection, who, who actually raise financing through Crowdcube. Uh, great experience, good fun, good discussion, and uh, yeah, just generally really excited to be at this event. It's the first, first in-person event I've done in, in a long, long while. If I could describe Future Lawyer Week in one word, I would probably choose super engaging. Um, there's lots of interesting partners here, uh, lots of interesting discussion points, and uh, yeah, I'd definitely be coming back again. Hi everyone, my name is Oriane, I head of the sales team here at the Discovery part of Luminance. Uh, so Luminance is the artificial intelligence platform for the legal professionals. We leverage artificial intelligence for different types of documents review. The one that we're focused on today is the Discovery tab, which is for litigation. Uh, so we're extremely happy to be today at the Future Lawyer Week's Litigation Day because it's the first year that they're doing it. Um, obviously with Luminance we do have a more transactional application of our tool, but being able to showcase the litigation side of things where we can help with any size of projects, any types of projects for all needs of e-discovery is really key to us, so we're glad to be here today. We're really glad to be at this event today. Obviously we do a lot of events um, as, a, as an e-discovery and, and legal tech vendor, um, but I would say what's great about um, the Future Lawyer Week particularly is that there are some really engaging conversations uh, which I personally from a vendor perspective find really interesting um, but also it's really good to hear from other lawyers that actually their interests in ours are becoming more and more common um, so it's really great not only to see that but also to give us an opportunity to go speak with those lawyers with actually a common interest to talk about um, and you know we're not coming from the vendor versus client perspective but actually we have an end goal together which is to make more efficient reviews uh, which we can really talk about and so that's where I think Future Law Week um, differs from other events that we've been at because they really do enable the discussion first of all um, so yeah it's a great way for us to really get our name out there but also get to know some really good uh, prospective clients. Hi, I'm Tom Dunlop, the founder and CEO at Surmise. Uh, so Surmise is a software solution that makes contract review, creation and management easier for legal teams. So we work both pre-signature and post-signature. And we're here today to essentially discuss with a bunch of in-house legal teams about how we can help take them from very manual processes to introducing automation and ultimately just create a smarter uh, kind of legal department. Personally, I think it's, uh, it's great to be back with a bunch of people um, again. I think it's, I've quite quickly got back into the swing of things, of being able to just network, actually having human face-to-face -face conversations. Um, I think a lot of the virtual, you lose that sense of building a relationship, building a rapport. So it's great to discuss use cases, really get into the grips of some of the, um, the kind of issues that people have, uh, and also to show people the products and actually have a proper conversation with them about the products. So much better than virtual. I'm uh, I'm I'm really happy to be uh, to be back in in person. My name is Mark Rhodes. I'm the managing director of SecureDocs, uh, and we're here with our contract management product, ContractWorks. ContractWorks is a contract management platform which is used by in-house legal teams all over the world. Uh, we opened an office in the UK at the start of 2020, and we have lots of customers in the UK and all over Europe and we're here to tell the story of how we can help in-house legal teams to be able to create a single source of truth for their contracts. So Future Lawyer Week's uh, a great opportunity for us to meet our target audience, to raise the profile of the Contract Works brand, particularly amongst the in-house legal community. So that's why we're here and we're having a great day meeting lots of in-house lawyers who we believe we can help with our product. Hi, I'm Rob Fagg and I'm CEO of H4. H4 is a SaaS product for in-house councils of small and medium-sized businesses to help them understand the data that sits inside their legal contracts. We've been at the conference for the last couple of days to really get out and meet that audience and to actually talk to people in the industry again. We've really enjoyed being back in the room with people. It makes such a difference having some human contact um, you can't get the personal touch that you get in a room versus what we do over Zoom. So it's great to be back here and at a live conference. 
Hi, so I'm Rhys. I'm the Chief Commercial Officer of Definely, and we're a legal tech company that allows users to access all the information contained in their agreement without them ever having to leave the clause or provision that they review. We're really excited to be back at live events to see not only existing customers, but potential customers both in-house and law firms. And not only that, but also just to hear the conversations and insights and how people have changed their buying processes as well as their outlook on tech since the pandemic. So it's been great to be part of the FLW event, to see a lot of our customers, to see a lot of the decision makers at our target companies. And we're definitely looking forward to not only the US events, but the other events taking place next year. Hi, I'm Sharon Kaur, and uh, I'm a legal technology consultant with Joseph. Um, Joseph is a no-code platform that's been adopted by some of the biggest teams in the world. Uh, that's legal teams uh, in corporate clients as well as uh, law firms as well. We uh, do a lot of work in globally and as well as um, sort of we're dealing with big clients. We have um, very small clients as well across the board. Um, it's been great to be at the Future Legal Week, uh, Lawyers Week this week. It's been brilliant. Um, met lots and lots of really exciting clients. Um, had lots of very positive conversations, lots to take away, lots to discuss, uh, lots of exciting people that we've met. Um, everyone's really excited about legal tech um, and you know, we have had a brilliant event. It's the first one that we've attended since pandemic um, and it's been absolutely brilliant. Everyone's been really excited about it. Um, we've had tons of introductions, uh, tons of people that we would ordinarily have met in Zoom that we've met in person, which has been absolutely great. Hi, Jeff Shapiro. I am a director in the Forensic Integrity Services Department at Ernst & Young. I uh, really uh, had a great time at Future Lawyer Week in the UK, in London. I uh, spoke on a panel uh, regarding uh, the use of data analytics in litigation and uh, its current and future use. Uh, it was great reconnecting with some uh, former colleagues and uh, with the legal industry generally. Um, and it was especially great to see litigation featured prominently at Future Lawyer Week. Uh, the room was uh, pretty much full and um, was great to see so many people out and about again in London, uh, starting to return to normal again. Looking forward to attending again next year. Hi, I'm Doug Robinson. I'm a managing associate at Simmons & Simmons. I'm here at the Future Lawyer Week on the litigation day. I've had a great time attending a panel event which concerned remote hearings and was itself a remote panel event, so truly fitting. Um, it's been great to meet other people and to network uh, and to do something in person for the first time in a very long time. Hello, uh, my name is Matthew Howarth. I'm a partner at Shoesmiths and I head up the litigation teams in our northern hub in Leeds and Manchester. And it's great to be here in person for an event, the FLW Litigation Day, and it's been pretty good stuff. Um, we had a session this, e this afternoon on uh, virtual hearings and remote hearings, and our chairperson actually was remote, so it's uh, quite handy to do it that way around. Very interesting, it's quite clear after today's session that we all think mediation and court hearings done remotely are here to stay and long may that be the case. I think it makes it much more cost effective and much more accessible. So a good day all round and uh, great to be here in person. Hi, my name's William Dunning. I'm a dispute resolution associate at Simmons & Simmons and I'm here at uh, Future Lawyer Week on the litigation day on the third day. Uh, it was great to speak at this event and it, more than anything great to be back at an in-person event for the first time after the pandemic. Um, I was here speaking about AI regulation of, in litigation uh, it's a really interesting topic on a, on a great panel with, uh, with some really good speakers. I'm Darren Ray, uh, co-founder of Gardam, uh, and I'm here at uh, Future Lawyer Week. Um, it's been great uh, just to be out again post-COVID. Um, it's been uh, you know, a long 18 months and the first conference I've done. Uh, I guess uh, the strangest thing, funniest thing I've found is uh, you know, some people are happy to shake hands, some people don't, and you just got to try and get that code or read the body language. Are they going to do a, a fist bump, a handshake, an elbow bump? Uh, I don't think I've had anyone do knee bumps, but hey, uh, you never know what's coming uh, next. So, um, so that's the post-COVID world, but it's great to be out networking again and actually uh, you know, talking to regular people and trying to uh, you know, generate leads and win business that way. 
Yeah, we've been here uh, for all three days, and I guess um, litigation day. Um, you know, it's the end of the show. Um, you know, um, it's a few less exhibitors, uh, but the number of people here has been actually. Um, well, around about the same, perhaps even higher. But for us, really well targeted, um, you know, the kind of people we needed to speak to. So, really enjoyed litigation day. Hello, my name is Kofi Mills Bampo. I'm a partner at Candy, uh, which is a specialist litigation law firm. Uh, I was here today speaking about, uh, well, leading a panel uh, discussing uh, essentially new tools for use in litigation and the training that's required to take a case through from inception to trial. Um, I accepted the invitation to speak because it's a great opportunity to uh, network with other practitioners, service providers, potential clients, uh, and it's been a great day. I've, I've enjoyed after so long being able to meet people again, uh, to, to form new relationships, make some new connections, uh, and to hear other interesting speakers talk about the impact of technology on the legal sector going forward. Um, so I, I would recommend it to, to any senior lawyers looking to uh, make further connections in this space, and I'll come again. Hi, I'm Simon Armitage. Um, I'm the Head of Business and Legal Affairs for um, Global Distribution at BBC Studios in EMEA. I'm really excited to be here, I think firstly to see the variety of new products that are around out there and to really explore that. Um, but as much as that, to hear from the speakers as, as to the process for working out you know, how you get, how you work out what the best solutions are for you and how other thinkers in this industry are looking at innovation. It's fantastic to be out and seeing people. Um, it's really good to see that this sector of the industry is still thriving and um, I'm really looking forward to seeing people again and I can't wait to come back for next year. Uh, my name is John Croft, I'm the president of Elevate. I've got a colleague speaking on a panel uh, so I came to support him uh, but um, it's good to come out and network. Um, this is the first in-person event that I've been to since 2019. So it is very nice just to be in a room with everyone else that we know, um, you know, seeing people in real life. Hi, I'm Leila El Garbi. I'm a project manager and corporate attorney for Ibrevia, which is a different solutions company. So I'm here today as an exhibitor. So I'm representing Ibrevia, which is a contract review and management tool. And we are looking to meet all the in-house lawyers and as well like um, lawyers from private practice and even like people from the same industry and just um, see the options available here. And it's an exciting time for, for legal tech uh, now as the theme is the future lawyers. And really excited to be here because it's the first event in person. So after, I don't know, one year and a half, be having this Zoom uh, course, it feels really great to see people. So yeah, definitely having a great time today. So uh, really great to see like people again. And uh, yeah, we definitely recommend uh, to come here and uh, just meet fellow vendors, uh, suppliers of legal tech, but also like um, people from the legal industry. Uh, I'm Tara Fishburn, I'm Principal Legal Counsel at GB Group PLC uh, and I oversee legal operations, business systems and procurements for the group. Uh, I was delighted to be asked to speak at the event uh, for Future Lawyers Week in London. Uh, it's been great to meet with other like-minded individuals who are in a similar sector to me, uh, talking about legal tech and automation, uh, particularly for in-house legal teams. Uh, what I want to get out of today is meeting people in person. It's been really nice to get out of the house, get out of the office and not be on screen uh, and see what legal tech is out there and available and what might work for me and my team. Uh, the venue's been great. Uh, it's really nice, relaxed, open space for everyone to network, get to know each other. Uh, the demos have been really insightful. Uh, there's plenty of stands uh, from legal tech providers who can quite happily give you a demo, more information on what legal tech is out there and what solutions they can provide. Uh, I'd love to come back next year uh, to meet more people, uh, understand more about legal tech. My name is Sarah and I'm a legal product expert at Luminance. Luminance is the artificial intelligence platform for the legal profession and we're here not just to share our unique platform with other people but also to learn what's going on in the legal industry at this moment in time and yeah this is our first in-person event that we've had in about 
couple years now, so it's definitely just thing getting used to it again. But it's great to be able to talk to people again, understand what the changes are, understand what it is people want to see in our products nowadays. So in-person events are a great opportunity, not just to meet other legal professionals and other legal tech um, options, but also to see the products like in person rather than just through a screen, something that we've been used to now for over a year and a half. We all have screen fatigue. My name is Gary McKellen. I'm Managing Director of Imprima. Um, Prima is a one-stop shop uh, due diligence provider. Uh, we're delighted to be here at Future Lawyer Week this week. Um, if I'm honest, we were a little bit on the fence whether to, whether to come to an event like this. We weren't sure whether it was worth the kind of you know, time and resource. Uh, but really, uh, when we got here, it's been an amazing event. Uh, really meeting some clients, some prospects, working with the team, and it really just feels a lot like the new norm normal for uh, for events like this. So really looking forward to uh, going to the next event.